I'm Ollie Gardner from Unbounce, and in this video series, I'll show you how to use fundamental design principles to increase the conversions of your landing pages. Whether you're a marketer, designer, copywriter, just a business person, it doesn't matter, because when you understand how design works, you can get more clicks, more leads, more conversions, and more sales from the traffic you're sending to your landing pages. And I'll show you exactly how to do it. The design principle of highlighting. This will be very familiar to anyone who's had to highlight a textbook, you know, to put a, use one of the highlighter pens to mark an interesting part on the page. It's a great way of focusing your visitor's attention on the most important parts of your content as they go through your landing page. One of the things people do on your landing page is scroll and scan. They'll read the headlines, the subheads, and you may have quite a lot of text, features and benefits, testimonials. You can use highlighting to draw out the most important aspects of the copy so that people who are quickly scanning the page will be more likely to read the things you really need them to read. Just by applying this highlighting principle, you're focusing people's attention right on those two words there. It really stands out. It's also using the principle of contrast, which keeps coming up time and time again. Combining contrast with highlighting really helps people focus their attention on what you want them to read. You can also use bolding to do the same thing, but it's not as dramatic. However, don't go crazy and highlight everything on your page because then you've just created the inverse problem where the things that aren't highlighted will actually stand out more because they're the ones that are anomalous. Actually, yeah, this is anomalous to the rest of it. That's another design principle. Watch that video, anomaly, contrast, highlighting. There's a general rule of thumb that you shouldn't bold more than 10% of a paragraph. And the same thing applies to highlighting. Use it to highlight the most important word or phrase in each paragraph or just some selected paragraphs and you'll really speed up the comprehension and the visual clarity of your landing page. Now I'm going to jump back inside the Unbounce Landing Page Builder and I'll show you two different ways you can apply the highlighting principle to increase the clarity and readability of your landing page copy. Inside the Unbounce Landing Page Builder, we're gonna talk about how to use highlighting to draw attention to certain words or phrases in your copy. Now in the headline, let's say I want to highlight voice of customer. The way I'm gonna do it in this instance is to drag a box onto there, make it black, send it behind, and now I'm just gonna change the opacity so now I've really highlighted that term. This might not be exactly how I would implement it in, in my design. I'm just showing you one of the techniques you can use to bring that text forward. So this is also, so it's highlighting, but it's also using contrast to make that text more readable. Now let's say we want to highlight part of one of the paragraphs down the page. Here, let's say impactful and high converting marketing copy, okay? That might be something we want to make sure people pay attention to as they scroll down the page. So I can change the highlight color over here to a yellow, and there we go. Now it really stands out from the rest of the page. If I'm scrolling down here, dun, 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 ah, I'm seeing that, right? And remember, don't highlight everything, don't highlight too many things, because then you create that inverse problem where it's shouting too much at you and you might actually pay attention to the text that isn't highlighted. So use it sparingly, once per paragraph, if that, but you know, maybe put a bit in here and a bit down there. It's a great technique for making sure people see what you need them to see in those first critical few seconds when they're skimming your landing page. That's another landing page design principle you have in your toolkit. So please try them out on your landing pages. You'll improve the clarity, you'll improve the impact of the design and ultimately increase conversions. I recommend you check out unbounce.com. You can follow me on Twitter, Ollie Gardner. Click that link up there. It will take you to a preview of the Unbounce landing page builder. You can play around with it, see how easy it is to use. Apply some of the design principles I've been teaching you and you'll have higher converting landing pages in no time. You can check out more landing page design videos down below. If you're watching on YouTube, go to the landingpagecourse.com where I'll teach you a whole bunch more about high impact, high converting landing pages.